get to, maybe I'll put them in the comments as well or maybe in the description box. <laughs> All right, so the first question is, Okay, what sparked my decision is I was just unhappy with my hair. I truly was, I was in a funk. And you know, I don't feel guilty about it. I don't um, credit it to one specific thing. A lot of people think it's because of the color and it's not because of the color. It's so many different things. Being natural and not doing anything to it is so boring. And I guess that was, it was my turn in this process because I wasn't feeling the length it was like long, it was long to me, but when styling, it was in that awkward stage. So even though my length was not in the awkward stage, the styling length was in the awkward stage and I just could not get over it. And then like the, just the years of wear and tear on my hair, I just knew it was time to get rid of it. Like you you just know, um, but co the color process that's another thing. I don't want you guys to think that Cream of Nature Color is not good because that brand is amazing. I love them. I use all their products and I would recommend their color because it does make your hair, you know, as healthy as it could be when you're putting color. But you have to make sure that you know the state of your hair before you color it. It's definitely not going to make it better. So if your hair is already damaged or weak or whatever, or you know your hair just can't take color, it, it's going to be worse off after the color. So definitely evaluate your strands before you color. I did cut it partially because of the color. I was over it. Um, I definitely saw the texture difference once I had new growth. You know, my initial um, review of the color was it was amazing. It didn't change my texture. You know, all that good stuff. And it was true in the moment. But once I saw my new growth coming out, that's when I really could tell, like, oh my God, my texture did change. So yeah, I was totally over the two textures, even though I still do have two textures because I didn't get all the color out. Um, I would really had to really big chop to get all the red out. Um, but yeah, the texture difference was annoying. The years of just styling my hair, manipulating it, definitely needed to come off and then another thing is i never had a professional cut so that was also part of it there's so many different reasons but it was definitely time and i fell in love with it immediately <laughs> like i really love it i'm so excited to have short hair again um and you know even before like seriously even before the color if you guys follow me on instagram i always you know every once in a while i would post my old bantu knot out when i first big chopped and my hair was way shorter than this and i used to post it and i've always been talking about oh i miss my hair being that short and you know i've always been toying with the idea of big chopping again um so yeah it was just time and i'm so happy with it and i did fall in love with it immediately all right so the next question says So in the picture on Instagram, I was wearing Ruby Woo lip liner with um, Sephora Red Matte Lip Gloss. Yeah, really cute. And I got, got it from Sephora. And then someone says, You guys, lately I have been using Alakay Naturals um, green, chai, green Tea Chai um face scrub it's really amazing honestly you can use that as a cleanser um and also as a moisturizer because after you cleanse your face with it you're left with the oil the natural oils in that product and your face is super moisturized so i really like that i have been rubbing coconut oil on my face and when I wake up, my face is like so moisturized and I definitely see a difference in my skin. So I really try to stick to natural things, even though I always praise oil of Olay. Very, I mean, it does the job for me, but I mean, seriously, using more natural products is better. So I would definitely highly recommend Alki Natural um, facial and skin products. Yes, 
I'm happy now and I really do love my cut and I'm really excited to have new content for you because I do have to learn how to style it now like um, like today I like this style but I know I can do I have to learn how to like get the top to stand up more honestly I don't I don't get lazy on wash day I think wash day is so easy I really don't understand the fuss about wash day I really don't I'm really excited to try washing them now that my hair is short too my advice for heat damaged hair is to cut it simple as that cut it um, I did read a post on named after a hat Fedora. Her name's Fedora, but on Instagram her name is named after a hat. She has an awesome post on her page about just cutting it. Like, don't wait. Cut it. Because if you don't, you're just stalling the growth process. So you might as well just get it over with. And hell no. <laughs> no, I'm never going to color my hair again. You know what? I didn't notice that. I think most of the people who have color, they kept the color or they did change the color, but I didn't see anybody go back to black except me. I think. I mean, because, you know, um, yeah, Jade, she changed her color a million times. She did go back to black. So, yeah, I guess me and Jade. But, yeah, I think most people kept the color or changed the color, so they're fine with it. But me, I just like my hair dark. I like it. So, um, yeah, I don't regret doing it. It was fun. Like I said, most naturals, once you're natural for a certain amount of years, you get bored. So, I had the color itch. And once I was presented with the opportunity, I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. So, I don't regret it. Um, I do still wish that I had just got the ombre color. I wish I did not dye my whole hair, my whole head. Um, but yeah, I don't regret it. But I definitely am loving my black hair now. <laughs> I usually trim my hair like, I don't know, every four to six weeks, I guess. Sometimes longer. Um, but yeah, I think I am definitely going to keep up with that for real, like religiously. Because I want to keep my um, ends very healthy and again once you start you know trimming your ends your hair will you will retain less more so yeah I'm definitely gonna keep up with the trims oh uh, somebody put how do you stay grounded with the success of your business your hubby being his own boss also do you struggle with humbling yourself to him since you're such a strong woman I do that is why I would like your opinion on this matter. That is a good question. You know what? How I keep myself humble, you know, and grounded is honestly and truly, I don't think I'm successful. And I'm being 100. I don't see myself as successful. And I feel like that keeps me grounded because I still feel like I just started. I feel like I haven't accomplished enough and it's not to the point where I'm like down in myself like oh my god I suck. No, I really just don't look at myself as bigger than anybody else or I'm too far in the game. Like I really just, I see myself as just working hard doing what I love. So I never put myself on a pedestal or anything. I just see myself as a hard worker. Um, I grind hard. I'm creative so that's how I keep myself grounded and it's effortlessly like I don't have to stop myself from being like oh no I'm getting too big-headed like that just does not even cross my mind whatsoever I find myself having to kind of make myself say oh you are doing something great sometimes I have to make myself I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but like, <laughs> like if I meet, like sometimes when I'm at Walmart in my hometown, people come up to me and they're like, oh my God, it's Yolanda Renee. And they want to take pictures. I even had boyfriends come up to me and want to take pictures and show their girlfriends like, I met Yolanda Renee. And still in those moments, I'm so shocked. I'm like, oh my God, you know me? Like, I don't know. I just, it, I guess it just hasn't registered to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there's always 
room for improvement, room to grow. So I never feel like I'm at the top. I just feel like I'm just doing me. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, and yeah. Um, do you... And I don't struggle with humbling myself to Devin either. Like I said, he usually is the one who tries to convince me like, no, Yolanda, you are successful. You are doing big things. And so he is usually trying to make me like realize it. So I don't have to calm it down for him at all. All right. Um, let's see.